Late at night, Los Angeles is asleep. But at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, engineers and technicians work 24 hours a day at the Space Flight Operations Facility called the SFOF. At the SFOF, men and women have conducted space flight operations around the clock every day for over two decades. The Space Flight Operations Facility is the hub of a vast communications network. It relays commands to NASA's unmanned spacecraft millions of miles away. It's the link between Earth and space-borne robots. Information collected by the spacecraft is transmitted to tracking stations and sent through satellites, ground lines, and microwave links to the SFOF. It takes approximately 65 computer systems to support one spacecraft pass. The SFOF is designed to handle up to 12 different spacecraft at a time, ranging from distances near the Earth to beyond our solar system. The large antennas of the Deep Space Network are vital to the communication between man and his robot spacecraft. The Deep Space Network antennas are located equidistant around the Earth, in Madrid, Spain, Canberra, Australia, and at Goldstone, 50 miles northwest of Barstow, California. Three sets of antennas are necessary because as the Earth rotates, the spacecraft appear to move across the sky as the sun and stars do. As the signals from the spacecraft disappear at one site, they appear on the horizon at the next station. The antennas collect information from the spacecraft, which are radio signals a trillion times weaker than the power of a tiny Christmas tree light. The antennas amplify the signals and send them to the SFOF. Communicating with a spacecraft starts with a mission directive. This directive, Voyager 2, cruising toward Neptune, must fire its thrusters to adjust its course. In preparation for Neptune encounter. An hour before sending commands to the spacecraft, the space flight operations teams are already working. Opscan, Cam Chief. Okay, uh, just inform you at the X-band. Uh, team, you stay changed, drivers. One and two are on. The ground communications facility coordinates all voice and data communications from 12 different sites around the world. Four, five, six. Oh, one, six Station 43, Australia, turns to acquire the spacecraft. Three, five, decimal three, eight microseconds. Plus or minus one microsecond. Data control at SFOF ensures that the command system is properly configured. Engineers load the command computer, the device that simultaneously sends information to the spacecraft, the stations, data recorders, and the Voyager navigation team. Opscon Voyager track. Voyager track, Opscon. The operations control chief called the Opscon. The format ID by setting bit eight to one. And the operations chief of the deep space network Inform the Voyager project that the ground systems are ready for support. You have a green command system, uh, systems Cal 2, active off and lockout enabled. And you are green to connect to the MC cube directory, 6131. The Voyager mission controller, called the ACE, loads the maneuver execution command sequence into the computer. As we have the uh, DSC verification of our command loss timer command. In a split second, the commands radiate throughout the space flight operations facility. The signal crosses the ocean to station 43 in Australia and begins a long journey across the solar system to the Voyager spacecraft. Traveling at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, the command reaches Voyager about four hours later. 
Meanwhile, at SFOF, engineers prepare to track yet another spacecraft. And eight hours later, the round-trip light time required to communicate with the spacecraft, the SFOF telemetry system decodes a message from Voyager. Commands received, thrusters fired. Spaceflight operations personnel continuously monitor and communicate with spacecraft. Among the many missions in progress or planned for the future, Voyager, a mission to study the planetary systems of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Ampty, a mission to study the solar wind. Ulysses, a mission to the sun. And Galileo, a mission to Jupiter. The engineers and technicians of spaceflight operations have supported nearly 50 spacecraft since the beginning of the space age and will continue to control these robots that explore the universe into the 21st century.